Are you ready to bust a myth? So the myth is, box wine is low quality and for the novice. Well, I have to admit, I have this thing about boxed wines. Generally speaking, they've gotten a bad rap. That's what we're going to do in this video, unwrap the myth. In this video, we're going to look at five things about box wines. We're going to look at the life or longevity of box wine, packaging and cost, global distribution, comparison of bottle and box wines, and storage tips. Also, I'll wrap this up with a recommendation at the end. By the end of this video, you'll be able to determine whether box wines or bottle wines are for you. Keep in mind, if at any time you like what you hear, just click like or subscribe or hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there are new posts. Just so you understand what we're talking about, boxed wine is wine in a box, but inside that box is a plastic bladder filled with wine. Number one, the life of box wine. Box wine is a brilliant idea. Boxes are better for people who go through wine more slowly. They also preserve wine longer than open bottles and are more portable. Once a bottle is open, oxidation happens really at light speed and an open bottle of wine is really only good for a few days. You can only store an open bottle of red wine maybe five days. White wine in a bottle is even less time than that. Open boxes of wine can last six to eight weeks and even longer if you keep them in the refrigerator. The plastic bib seals the wine in and minimizes the amount of air that can come in contact with the wine. Because of this, it's a better way to keep your wine versus its glass counterpart. Number two, packaging and cost. Box wine's packaging is simply cardboard, a plastic bladder, and the wine. It has a low carbon footprint. For some wines, the only difference is the packaging. The same wine can be put in either a bottle or a bag in the box. Frequently, the costs that are saved come from packaging and shipping, not from cuts made to the quality of the wine. But these materials also mean it's really cheap to produce and frequently when companies encounter cheap vessels, they end up putting their cheapest wines inside them. By the way, how are you doing there? Is this information helpful? If it is, just write box in the comments below. Number three, distribution. Other parts of the world have warmed up to con the convenience of boxed wines. It actually accounts for about 50% of the market in Australia, Sweden, Norway, and Brazil. Now in the US, it hovers right around 20% of total wine sales. And that's predicted to, to rise as Americans work through our prejudice against cardboard. Number four, this is a comparison of bottled versus boxed wine. Both boxed and bottled wine have the potential of being on a continuum of quality and price from poor to good, cheap to good value, inexpensive to expensive. Boxed wines can be just as good as the wines that come out of bottles. While you're unlikely to find the world's finest wines in boxes or pouches, some bag-in-the-box wines are good and present a really good value. Number five, storage tips. With red wine boxes, they don't need to be refrigerated after opening because they, they're completely sealed. They can stay fresh at room temperature for quite a long time, but they should be kept someplace cool away from direct sunlight. I do recommend refrigerating white wines so that they're always chilled and ready to serve. <laughs> well, there you have it. We just busted the box wine myth. Now you have everything you need to know about the box wine myth. Well, almost. Next up is my recommendation, which will be at the end. But first, let me thank you for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you subscribe, click like, or ring the little bell to turn on notifications. Let me know if you have any other myths to bust or any other comments. 
below. Also, if there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. All right, are you ready for my recommendation? If you noticed, most of what I talked about revolved around practicality and practical living. So if convenience, longevity, portability, durability, and inexpensive are what you're looking for, then box wine is a really good option for you. You can get some really good everyday wines out there. And now if you're looking for really good or great wine, wines that you'll use for special occasions, a dinner party, special friends, stay with a bottle. <laughs> My general rule of thumb is, for family, get the cheapest thing out there. Now for friends and entertainment, get something really nice. And for yourself, get the best. After all, you're worth it. Folks, thanks for being with me. I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. If you're looking for some wonderful wines, check out the link below. And don't forget to enter your discount code, ASTYWINES, at checkout. Again, the discount code is ASTYWINES. I look forward to you joining me on social media and on my website. All those links are in the description below. Until next time, cheers.